And good morning and welcome back. Of course, we're continuing to track your fashion trends as we head towards summer, even spring right now. With me is Jeremiah Stroop, who just recently got back from New York Fashion Week. Jeremiah, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, so you recently just got back from New York Fashion Week. Talk to me a little bit about some of the things that you saw. Well, it was an unbelievable experience. Um, you know, fashion has been good to me. Mm -hmm. um, I've had the chance to work with Portland Fashion Week here on the West Coast and some other charitable fashion events. But Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in New York is a whole different scale. Mm. It was very exciting to be a part of that. What's really special about it? What makes it so unique? Well, I would definitely believe that most people in the fashion industry would consider that it's probably one of the top fashion events in the nation, mm. and maybe top three in the world. Um, the scale and magnitude is pretty significant. It's seven days packed full of fashion and celebrities and stars. It's a lot of fun. So it's kind of a who's who in the world of fashion. I would say so, <laughs> absolutely. Um, and speaking as, you know, we, we're getting closer to summer, you know, everyone's trying to get the spring and summer body together. Um, what, we're, what really should people be looking out for right now? What are the trends that you saw? Well, we saw so much fashion there. We had uh, an opportunity to be a part of the Global Glam Fashion event. Mm -hmm. And what's cool about that event, which was put together with W Hotels, is that those are fashions you can actually go and purchase online at their store and yeah. experience. So if you want to experience something that was really, you know, hot right off the runway, that would be definitely one location to go. But, you know, color is really big this year and um, Any different color textures. Particularly? You know, um, there was quite a variety. Okay. You would see just a rainbow of colors on the runway. So I think also for people deciding what works really well for them. Okay. Um, in terms of those fashions, I know sometimes things tend to stand out like a certain pattern, a certain fabric. Was there any fabric that really spoke volumes that this year that you really saw on the runway a lot when you were in New York? We had the opportunity to be a part of the G-Star Raw show, and mm -hmm. there was a lot of denim mm -hmm. there for sure, and also some camouflage, kind of some I've urban camouflage. Interesting. Um, Paired with anything that's kind of unique? Um, I saw suspenders and some other accent pieces. They had some very fun, edgy stuff, so it was a good experience. Yeah, I don't think you can ever go wrong with suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, here, people in Southern Oregon here, you know, unemployment is a big deal here. I think it's almost close to 13% unemployment, mm. most of our area. So people are trying to do things on a budget. Uh, what's that budget thing that you could try to give a little piece of, piece of advice for people that are trying to do things and, you know, be economically friendly to their pocket? Absolutely. Well, I believe that there's absolutely a great opportunity to keep your fashion current mm -hmm. but by just simply adding some accessories, right? Mm -hmm. What's hot maybe is the suspenders right. for you or a scarf or a hat that you don't have to go out and redo your whole wardrobe because that's true. Economically, there's a lot of things going on in people's lives. Right. And uh, I think that it's just good to maybe add something that makes you feel confident, maybe helps you go out there for that job interview, but mm -hmm. you don't have to redo your entire wardrobe. Um, is that some of the things that you saw in New York as well, a lot of accessories, the use of accessories? Yeah, we saw some really great accessories out there and hats and scarves and accent pieces. It was really exciting. Um, I, I noticed you had worked a lot with the, the fashion show here in Portland. Um, well, not here in Portland, but in Portland. Right. I mean, they seem to do things a little bit differently out here in the Pacific Northwest than they do back in New York. Uh, for you, being, being in the midst of it all, I mean, what were some of those differences that you noticed? Well, I would tell you this. Um, I've been really honored to be able to, you know, interview the mayor at Portland Fashion Week and Portland get around some like local icons. Well, and Portland we definitely have an ethos and ethic to, with you know, our Portland Fashion Week as being one of the most sustainable fashion, fashion weeks in the world. Mm -hmm. And Portland in 1996, shoes, I believe, received an award for being the most sustainable city in the nation. Uh, but, uh, so I think that Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week may be a little bit behind as far as green. We could definitely boast that we're a little bit more green than Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, but I would tell you that, you know, both of those shows are great shows to be a part of. And I don't consider myself any, you know, fashion guru, but I kind of try to stay plugged into what's going on. Mm -hmm. And I definitely think we're going to see some cool things coming up from Portland Fashion Week. All right, Jeremiah, if people want to get in contact with you, how can they call you, talk to you? They can go to jeremiahstroop.com or connect with our company, fluxlive.com. All right, well, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming with us. And I appreciate you for watching. Stay with us. We're going to have more news and weather coming up after the break.